On my first day, it's the Red Boys, I thought, this big. I'd always dreamt of coming to a big school, and when I made it, I felt good. If it were not for Sterehe, all that I am, all that I have achieved would not have been. The philosophy that was input by the founder, Dr. Griffin, he believed that young people should be given an opportunity to, to grow. Some people say that maybe Stare was started from the gutter. My name is Samuel Omai. I live with my mother. A uh, small family, <coughs> two. On my first day, it's the Red Boys, I thought, this big. I'd always dreamt of coming to a big school and when I made it, I felt good. The welcome was so warm. I didn't even feel homesick. Even if it was my first time being in boarding school, I felt nice being here. My greatest moment has been when I joined the basketball team. Yeah, that was in Form 2 first term. My favorite subject is physics and computer. Physics because physics defines almost everything we have. Talk about the cars, buildings, and computer because I would like to do something to do with computer uh, when I grow up. That is game development and animation. My role model is my mother. My mother because uh, she works hard to provide and I look up to her. I would like to be like her when I grow up. As well as giving back to Stare, of course I would sponsor some boys, so that I can brighten their futures, just like mine has been brightened. Okay, smoking. Then you sleep a little bit. Mm. Uh, my name is Matthew Kithiaka, and I'm the director of Starreha Boy Center. And first, I would like to introduce the cat you see here. She has a title. Her name is uh, Smoky, and she's a school cat. I would say, beginning 2014, I've seen a big shift of think and, uh, and um, um, attention from the old staray and coming and wishing, expressing their willingness to support. And the main beat started this early this year. And as we speak today, um, a number of alumni have uh, mobilized themselves in, in, um, in body forms in their classes and uh, they feel that they should come back and give support to the institution that, that made them what they are today. Mm -hmm. And I say uh, one of the highlights this year is the formation of those clusters of classes. When we see one group of uh, students coming and say, let's do this, another one comes and says, let's do this. It's a bit here, a bit here, and cumulatively we'll be able to do a lot. And one of the things I've explained the few members of groups that I've met is to uh, ask them to think not too big, but to pick bits that can be uh, um, accomplished easy and move on to something else. We have uh, 14,000 old Tarahans out there. 
And suppose we get just a half of that, 5,000 Australians coming on board and picking a budget item and picking uh, um, a few boys and sponsor them. Uh, I'm sure we'll be able to sustain Stare for quite a long way. And I hope. Stare provides holistic uh, education. Uh, we are not interested in only classroom achievement, but we want the growth of a whole person. Uh, mentally, physically, uh, morally, and of course academically. We want kids who can empathize with communities and see the need to serve them, and especially because these are communities they come from, and they will engage in, uh, in the future. So Starhead does provide one of the best types of education anyone can provide anywhere in the world. And in time to come, according to your means, to do all that you can to enable others to enjoy the same advantage that we received in Sarahem. The access we had to international philanthropy is no longer as widely available. The question I ask my, myself, did I receive any benefit from Sarahem? And if I did receive benefit from Sarahem, I must invest back. I must invest back, and OSS is the vehicle through which we invest uh, to transform other lives. Even if you don't uh, subscribe to become a member of OSS, mm -hmm. join the initiatives that are raising funds mm -hmm. to meet the needs in the school. Mm -hmm. that's, that, that's one. Mm -hmm. But secondly, the Old Syrian Society is now the formal body through which we engage the school, through which we contribute to leadership of the school. Uh, under the current constitution, the chair of OSS and the vice chair of OSS sit in the managing committee. So we are part of the leadership. The girls' school is a new institution. It took a long, long time uh, to get that dream through. Again, those of us who are in Sarah in the, in the late 70s and early 80s, we knew that the, the late Dr. Griffin always had a dream of coming up with a, a girls' school. Ours is to help and to mentor the youngsters, the young ladies who are coming in. We have already embraced them within the Old Sarahian Society, so the Old Sarahian Society now includes the boys and the girls. Um, we have established uh, mechanisms for mentoring them, for providing them support when they need, um, uh, for going back to the school. Uh, because again, one of the things I remember, um, when you come from a disadvantaged background, there is a social support that you need, mm. that your uncle, your auntie, your mother cannot come and visit you in Sarehe. That uncle can be an old Sarehean. My, my dream first is that having experienced the transition of uh, the 50 years anniversary and now getting to the next stage of 50 years of Sarehe being, is to see that Sarehe sustains his uh, uh, well-being for another 50 years. And my dream is that uh, at some point, we shall have a, a, a team of uh, old Starahans very able to, to be able to drive the mission, the heritage of the school further on, and to be able to sustain that ability to raise support that will see Starahe remains a very stable institution. I, I want to speak to the, the people who are gathered uh, in the dinner now, and the First of all, to thank you for coming for the dinner because it is in engaging with us, it is in coming to connect with your classmates, with fellow alumni, that you get to understand what is happening in Serehe, uh, the challenges that the school is facing, and our role in helping the, that institution to remain true to itself. The costs of running the institution still remain. And we need to focus on both cost rationalization so that we run that institution in the most efficient way possible and raising funds to ensure that Sterehe never lacks, that all the boys and girls in the two schools, they never lack. <laughs>